this video, I participate in the Grimdark Cards Challenge. Hello Bitsbrew, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk here, and this is a special conversion video where I convert my miniature from the Grimdark Cards Challenge. So if you don't know what this challenge is, um, it's a challenge that's happening over on Instagram. It was started by the Ends of the Earth Art, and essentially you drop them a DM and they send you a picture of a random card drawn from the Blanjitsu um, art deck. I think GW released a little while ago. Each each card has a different piece of John Blanche artwork with a different sort of character on it on them. And yeah, the contest is essentially to convert up the character on the piece of, or the piece of artwork from the card that you receive. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. So yeah, you can check that out on Instagram. I think this contest runs until the end of March 2019, but if you're watching this in the future and think, oh, that's a really good idea, I'd like to participate, I'm sure if you drop them a DM, then they'll be happy to send you one, I'm sure. And um, yeah, a link to them will be in the description below. So I'll show you my card um, at the end of the intro, just before we get into it. Um, as always, if you're new to this channel and you like conversion videos and paint tutorials and much, much more, then do feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as always, a big thank you to all our patrons for supporting us, supporting this channel and helping us grow. Uh, if you want to know what our Patreon is all about, you can check out the link down below. So yeah, um, this is the card that I'm going to be convert converting. So it's a really cool uh, looking, looking piece. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into this. And I have a few ideas of what I'm going to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, let's get straight into this. Okay, so I'm going to start by doing the head on this conversion. Now when I looked at the um, image, the piece that immediately sprung to mind was this Empire Wizard Head, or whatever they are called these days. The hat is certainly the sort of right shape. Obviously, we need to do away with its face. So I'm thinking I just can straight down. I quite like the sort of skull pattern thing on there. I think I'll probably keep that. And I've also got a head from a rust stalker. So essentially, I'm thinking sort of trimming this and sort of whacking it on the back of the head like so. And obviously, we'll get rid of all these tubes as well. We don't need them. We do need some sort of spike thing to go on the front. And we also need a little spike to go on the back here as well. So. I'll get these sort of put together and then see what spikes I can find. So yeah, I'm literally, I think I'm just grabbing my clippers here and just going to see if they will chop chop it down. If not, I may have to get the hobby saw on it. Might have to just chop away little bits at a time. These aren't the best clippers in the world. So we'll chop away that. Take away its front bit. Yeah, I'm thinking I might have to get try and get a hobby saw on and just try and chop it that way. Or just get some better clippers on it. But I don't really want to squish that plastic too much. So yeah, what I'm going to do is just get a hobby saw and just sort of trim it like down now. It's a bit hard to see on the camera. Okay, so I've chopped it down and I've also removed some bits wants to focus off the rust orca head as you can see the pipes are gone. And I've also sort of filed the head down a little bit. I haven't got the angle too great but I kinda like how this is going so So two bits together. Now the um wizard head is sort of wider than this rust orca head, which is a bit of a shame, but there aren't really any sort of suitable sort of Heads large enough to attach. I really like the rust head. I think it really fits well with the image. So I'll fill these gaps in with green stuff. Try and make the transition between the two pieces look a little bit more natural. It won't be perfect, but maybe I'll add some cable and come on off here, which can sort of hide some of the imperfections as well. And also get a couple of spikes that we can add on. Okay, so I found this piece, which is a horn or a spike of something or other. I have no idea what. 
So I think I'm trimming it down a bit, and that can go on the front. So just trim it down with my clippers, like so. I think about there. I'd like this bit piece to be sort of fairly long. We can sort of get the width similar. That's pretty good. A little bit of file, file down. Just make sure that's a nice flat surface. As for the spike on the top, I was thinking I may just use this spike. Um, I've got this sprue, which is going to become inv invaluable for this build. There's some bits on there, such as this arm, um, which I'm certainly going to use, and probably some of the other arms as well. So I'm thinking I'm going to take that spike off the top of this axe. So I don't think I'm going to be using the axe anytime soon. And it might be worth taking a piece off the sprue before I chop it, because I can't get in there with the clippers, so just chop that off. Now this spike is bigger than the spike on the image, but I quite like the idea of having a larger spike on the head. Now of course when you do these conversions you haven't got to do exact copies, it's good to do your own little take on them. Mix them up a bit, otherwise everyone will just convert exactly the same thing. Get some glue on there. You guys can see alright. Stick that on there like so. It's got a nice little bit of detail around the base of it as well. And it doesn't look too large on this piece really. I don't know how straight that is. You can sort of get away with being a bit messy on these. But they are just mechanical constructs, they don't have to be perfect. And then the other one's gonna go on there. So, after these are dry, I'm going to try and fill the gap up with some green stuff, and I'll let that dry overnight, and then I'll show you the result. But yeah, so far, I'm quite liking how the head is looking. Okay, so here is the assembled head, complete with some green stuff work. My green stuff work's not the best, so I apologise for that, but... I'll try and hide as much of it up with cables and stuff. Certainly going to have a lot of cables on the neck and the top of the torso. Also added this little thing here. This is from the Saint Celestine and Gemini set. I have a few bits left over from that. Just covers up some shoddy green stuff work, shall we say, on the join there. So, yeah, that's for head. It's not the exact same angle as the one in the image, but I quite like how it's turned out anyway. I might neaten up around the... Should we call it the nose? Let's call it the nose. But yeah, that's the start. So that's the head. So as for the body, I had a few ideas. I was thinking maybe the uh, Ravain, is it Ravain? I mean, I don't know how to pronounce it. The one from the Triumvirate for um, the Elder. Quite like that, but then I thought, eh, I don't really want to get one just for this. So then I don't know. Looking around, um, I'm using a lot of bits from the Tech Priest Dominus, or I plan to, so I thought, well, let's use the body from the Tech Priest Dominus. Now I've glued it together here, but I'm only going to use the bottom half. And I have an idea what to use for the top. So essentially, I'm thinking of just chopping down across the top here. I am concerned it will give us quite a wide area to work with, so I'm going to have to find a good, suitable body for that. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do, so I'm thinking I'm going to go to the hobby saw and just literally chop across like so. So, try and get it in shot. Sorry, I'm zoomed in quite a bit here. Um, I'll go across there. So, I'd quite like to keep this, but I think I'm going to lose that. So, but I can always glue it back on elsewhere. So, just a case of working the hobby saw. Oh, stuff stuck to it, back and forwards, and hopefully it doesn't all just come breaking. And once that's done, I'll, you have something that looks like this. Now, it's not the straightest of cuts, but never mind, it won't matter. So yeah, the Tech Priest Dominus 
is actually sort of this way around, but I think I'll use her this way around. So it sort of gives this sort of like a skirt sort of look, which I think is pretty cool. And it's all got some of the cables and stuff, all these little bits, which I, I want to keep because I really like them. So that's the start of the body. Now I'm thinking for the top half, the sort of chest armor really sort of reminds me of a sort of the armor on a Goliath from Necromunda. So I'm thinking I could use a Necromunda torso. Obviously I'll cover it all up with like tubes and, and stuff like that. But it looks like it could be roughly the right size. So yeah, I'm going to grab one of them and see how that looks. Okay, so here we have a Goliath's body where I've chopped down the legs off it. And we have a uh, bottom sort of skirt piece here. And it seems to go on like quite a good size. It's not really the best sort of join in the world. But the size seems pretty good actually. There's not really much overlap either side or at the back. So it's almost a perfect sort of fit in that regard. So yeah. We'll get that glued on. Now these little bits where you can see bits of flesh and that. I'll go over with tubes and stuff. Uh, I've kept the belt. I know it's not M on the image, but I quite like it, so I'm going to keep it. Again, you don't have to do these things uh, exactly the same as a picture. And I quite like the gloves have these sort of like uh, sort of collar as well, with little tubes coming out of them. So that works really well on this piece. And we haven't got to do much for the neck either. So probably just some green stuff work there for a neck, but yeah. I'll get these glued up, she's really starting to come together. Okay, so this is how she is looking with her skirt, her torso, and her head now glued in. I used a just a little bit of like round sprue um, just to make a little neck. I was gonna add like the cable and stuff, but you can't really see much of a neck. So I might just leave it as it is. I will add some like green stuff sort of cables and whatnot to these sort of muscly areas. I can see my green stuff work isn't great so like the gaps are filled here aren't terrific but I'll try and do something to neaten them up in the future. You can see I've also chopped little bits off here so we've got sort of flat joints for the arms. So in regards to the arms I think one what's obvious if we go back to this miniature this one with the walking stick type cane thing now there's two arms here, we'll chop one off, but sort of quite like a net. And as you can see the cane is a bit too short to reach for bottom, so I think maybe I'll try and extend it. I may even like just chop it off there and just add some brass wire or, or something. We'll see. Um I'll try and hold it in shot. But that's gonna go on like there, so that's the next piece I'm gonna add. So yeah, it's just a case of chopping this arm down. Now we might not get the best uh, cut here. I'm going to eat into that shoulder pad a little bit. I've got this tube. That will have to just be like that for now. Maybe I could add something onto here, even if it's just a spike or something, just to cover up how um, odd it looks. Might be worth putting something on there, rather than trying to sort of sculpt with my lacklustre green stuff skills. Trying to sort of sculpt something on there, so maybe we could have something coming off there, which could, the tube could go into. It might be an idea. But essentially that's going to glue on there, so that's what I'm going to do next. And then I'll look into the other arm, and we can then add some other changes and whatnot. Okay, so this is how she's looking at the moment. I will go back to the cane and lengthen that a bit later. Also at the back here where I've chopped off the other arm, I want to do something there. Maybe just put something over here and that little pipe can go into it or something. Um, but in the meantime, the other arm is going to be pretty simple. We're going to go back to the same miniature here. So a lot of pieces so far have been from the same miniature, but don't worry, I'll be adding some more. And I'm going to give her a gun. I know she doesn't have a gun in the artwork, but I feel like she could be armed. If 
I can just chop that off like so. And yeah, um, not really any sort of conversion here. I just think the, the arm works perfectly to go with the miniature, and I can just sort of have it maybe sort of like down, sort of relaxed like so. So nice and easy. A little blob of glue. And because I've made that area flat, that fits on very nicely. And it even has like a little shoulder pad thing similar to the artwork. So really not much needing to be done there. Just got to hold it for quite some time, I think. There we go. Oh, or maybe not. I'll do this off camera. It's just when you're trying to sort of hold this and then you want to turn the camera off. There we go, look. Okay, so... Next up we're going to look at the backpack. So this is from the Necromunda um, Escher Gang. This is from the um, Chem Launcher. On the artwork she looks like she has sort of like a flamer type backpack. And I could have gone the easy route. Got one from the like Cadians, maybe or the Catachans. But A, I don't really like them. And B, I don't actually have any. So I thought this would be quite cool. And I'm going to add, make some additions to this. So as you can see I've chopped off the arm. And I'll probably have it this way out, so it'll be sort of like like that. But I want to make some additions to it. So where the arm is, we have these little straps that sort of go to nowhere. I was thinking I've got like this little servo skull from the same kit that we've been using, and I thought that could go on there. That look pretty cool. A little bit of glue. Stick him on. He fits on quite nicely as well. I've chopped off the back of his head so it's a nice flat piece of the back. And he's going to stick out just a little bit more this way so I don't interfere when he goes on. I could try and just make him as straight as possible. That'll do quite nicely. And then in this area here where I've chopped the arm off, it still looks a little bit messy, so I'm going to add a bit from this. Skatari backpack, um, namely the pipe coming down, probably the longer one, and that can come off there. Because I'm on the artwork again, she has like some little pipes and stuff coming off. But we've already got some on the back, I mean, so we'll just add another one on there and keep in with the theme. So, literally, just a case of just chopping it off and then just filing the end down flat, and that should glue on quite nicely. And then she'll have a backpack. And then all that's really left for me to do is a little bit of green stuff, work with some cabling, and we'll sort, sort this cane out, and that's what I think I'll do next. And of course he does need a base. So yeah, that's just going to be a case of gluing that on. And there looks so... I want it to sort of sit against that. Like that, so yeah. And that's how I turn the little a little um, chem launcher tank into a nice Admex style backpack. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so before I put the backpack on, I just want to look at this little bit here. So I found a sort of nondescript Eldar piece. It's like a round or oval type thing. Thingamajigger, I have no idea what set it's from, it's just something Eldar. And that can just sort of go on there like so. Just connect them sort of two bits up. Just covers up the mess from where the other arm's cut off. Now it's not, not ideally something I'd want on this miniature. But never mind. I'll go on there like so. Maybe straighten up just a little bit. But at least now that pipe goes into something. I'll chop that little bit of flash off, I don't see that. I'll wait till that's dry. And the backpack can go on as well, that will cover some of this up. So of course it's not a great join for the backpack, but that will sit on there. I'll try not to knock that arm. That sort of go on there like so. So, yeah, once again, um, I'll probably hold that in place properly off camera. 
I may even just chop that down just a little bit actually. I might do that first. So yeah, I'll get my backpack glued on. Okay, so here she is, glued onto her base. And you may notice I've added another pipe coming off the backpack. I felt it just seemed a little bit one-sided with just a pipe on one side there. It just seemed like something needed to be in there. So I went back to a Tech Priest Dominus kit and got this little sort of pipe coming off there like so. So she's got lots of pipes and stuff coming coming out of her now, which is good. It sort of matches the artwork. Where I've gone a bit messy on the green stuff around here, I may add some little pouches and grenades and stuff just to cover that up. But as I said, the next thing I want to do is so this cane, I need to make it longer. So I'm going to cut it here. Now, usually this is something I would do before I glue it onto a miniature, but having it on the miniature means I can get the length just about right, and I'm literally just going to get some like, um, I think it's like brass rod, mainly used for pinning, and I'm going to just attach it between the base and here. So this is a piece I'm going to use, and it's essentially just going to sit in there like so, and all I need to do is just add some glue. So I'm going to use super glue for this. That's this is metal. Just a little blob wants to come out on the top and on the bottom. I don't think it wants to come out. So with that now glued in place, I'm going back to the Clan Escher set, just getting a few little grenades and I just tuck them under here. Just cover up some of that terrible green stuff work. And just use my knife to position them. Now originally I was gonna like green stuff in like little cables and stuff under here, but I'm actually not gonna bother now. There's only a couple of little areas where they would be, and um as you can see my green stuff work isn't too bad. Oh and I think uh okay, uh Cane's coming loose, I couldn't get a lot of super glue out of that. I'll have to get a new one, but yeah, that does sort of wedge in there. Oh dear. Okay, we'll come back to that. But you guys get the gist. And then the other piece, again, from the Clan Escher set. It's going to be a bit fiddly to get under there. This is where you need tweezers. Um, I've got some somewhere. Why do you want to just chop off a little bit? file a little bit off there, it's just a little bit of flash on there and that should go in there like so and I do want to move it over a bit so it's right on there oh, <laughs> it's like surgery this is Again, if you if you sort of plan a bit better than I do, then obviously you could do all these before you put the arms on. But as it is, yeah, there we go. Once the glue dries, that'll be fine. So yeah, um, I'll have to open one of my other super glues and get that cane back on. Um, but once that is on, um, she will be complete. Okay, so here she is. And in the future I may do a little video on painting her. I'll probably use a lot of the same techniques that I've used in other Blend It 2 videos, but it'd be nice to get her painted in the future. But yeah, really fun conversion to do. I've really enjoyed doing the Grimdark cards. I'll put a link down below to the Instagram account that you can get in touch with to receive your card if you want to participate. This is going until the end of March, so by the time this video gets out, it's still a good month to do your own conversion. And also, just check out the hashtag. There are some excellent conversions on there by people who are already participating. But yeah, it's a really cool fun miniature to do. And who knows, maybe it'll be the start of another warband. 
I think so. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you like the conversion. And if you have, then as always, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments below or any suggestions that you'd like to see me do for conversions, paint tutorials, or anything like that, or any ideas that for anything you'd like to see in a warband with this miniature, then yeah, do leave um, some suggestions down below. I would love to hear them. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.